What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about client revisions. How do you handle them? How do you make sure that you're not creating tension within your clients with revisions? Now, first things first, I highly recommend that you have a contract that states how many rounds of revisions the client's gonna get and how they need to communicate revisions with you. For us, we do anywhere between two to three rounds of revisions and in our contract it says that all revisions must be submitted through email. To me, not anyone else on my team, if a client sends me something in a text message or a phone call, I'd be like, hey, I received your message, can you please draft this in an email just so we have that on record. I had the situation come up now that after the client it was like, hey, I love the video, thank you so much. The next day, they were like, hey, like I showed this to my girlfriend, they thought I needed to change this, da da da. And I'd be like, hey, I'll call them. This is one of the situations that you, you wanna avoid the email. You don't know how the client's gonna, you know, respond to that, or they might read it thinking that you're being rude. So a phone call is always the way to go. You just be like, hey, John, uh, I saw your email. I'm more than happy to help you with those extra changes. I just need to let you know that to make those changes, I'm estimating it's gonna be about two hours of work, which would be $100, uh, 50 bucks an hour. Um, are you okay with moving with that? And they'd be like, either be like, oh, that's fine. Or if they tell you like, hey, I don't think that, you know, I need to pay for those changes, that's where you need to have the conversation with them. Be like, be like hey, I understand that you don't think you should pay for them, but we already went through two rounds of revisions. This is requiring me to do additional work on my time. I really want to work with you, but this is what I'm going to have to charge you. You know, you just need to be able to send your ground because you are doing extra work, but you need to let them know that you are running this as a business. And the best way to do that is by calling them on the phone, but then also having a contract. Because if they go outside of that scope of work, you need to let them know that this is what they sign up for. If they like additional rounds of revisions, you can add that into the contract. Now, another way that you can handle the situation is, you know, there's a couple of clients you end up working with, and this has happened with me, that the same type of project comes along and you know the client's always gonna ask for more revisions. Now, normally for me, this tends to happen with their bigger corporate clients because there's a ladder that they respond to. So, you know, the marketing manager that hired us needs to work with the, the marketing VP, which then responds to the CEO. So there's a ladder of communication that happens through them. So normally what I tell them is like, hey, based on these projects, what tends to happen is that there needs to be more than two to three rounds of revisions, normally between five or eight because of your chain in communication. Um, what I don't want to happen is that we get throughout this project and then I have to come back and ask you for more money. What are your thoughts that if we bake in an extra fee for, to cover the rounds of revisions. Like this way you like to, you can get five rounds of revisions without any problems because I don't want to come back and ask you for more money. How does that sound to you? Something along those lines, um, you know, or, or is the way that I usually handle situations like this with those type of clients. But these are things that, that you end up learning throughout the progress. And I see people all the time asking me about how to handle revisions. And I had a problem with that myself. So that's the reason why I wanted to make this video today. So that's gonna be it here for today, guys. Get yourself a contract. If a situation arises, call your client, get them on the phone, and just let them know that there's gonna be an extra charge or you work something out with them. But try to not do it through um, you know, just an email or a text message. I think you know we're in a habit of everything being done through texting or, or messaging. And you know, it's always nice to just get on the phone and talk to a client, just build a rapport with them and just you know communicate with them. You know, it's a really hard for you to tell a client that you're gonna need more money um, over an email than it is for you to just tell them um, they like, hey, it's gonna be an extra hundred bucks. Is that cool? Because what happens is that when you email them a number, they're gonna get price shot, right? There's not a lot of context to them. They're gonna open the email, all they're gonna see is a dollar sign and the number next to it. But now if you tell them like, hey, it's gonna be a hundred bucks for extra revisions, is that okay with you? They'll be like, yeah, that's fine. You have it in email, the price shock is gone. So just think about that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like. If you're new here, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Also, let me know what you guys wanna learn. Um, you know, 
I've been trying to come up with more content ideas. I know you guys like this business stuff. There's certain situations that you guys aren't familiar how to deal with, that you'd like some advice on, let me know in the comments, and then uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.